Hey there ladies and gents, Pops here, welcome back to Great Riverlands. Uh, in Farming Simulator 22 on what is a beautiful November morning. Just seeing the sunrise. Okay, so the deer are out early. So we currently have 59 bales of silage uh, stored up there. And we also now have all of the original uh, grassland ready to be reharvested. Uh, so that's all that round there, and all that round there. Um, now, the thing is, the best time to uh, sell our silage uh, is uh, November, by far, and of course the stuff that's in here is ready to sell, uh, whereas the stuff we're going to cut today won't be ready to sell until December, um, at which point the price plummets. So I think um, plan number one is going to have to be get this lot sold and then I will crack on and get all the old grass areas mown and baled and then we'll put all that into storage and maybe leave it for possibly well looking at this maybe leave it for quite a long time we'll just we'll see how it goes we'll see how the money situation goes uh, and obviously in between times we'll get another full load of grass cuttings in anyway um, so we'll see what we do but we certainly don't want to be selling it in December if we can if we can help it let's uh, let's get the stuff out so I think all we need to do to start off with so we know our Bale trailer takes 24, so we'll take 24 out. Easy peasy. Now then, the question is, how do we successfully get that little lot onto the bale trailer? I think as it turns out, the easiest way to do it, I don't know whether this is cheating or not, but these are actually liftable. We can just simply lift them onto there. This is definitely cheating, isn't it? You wouldn't be lifting up seven and a half thousand litres of silage. Oh dear, how bad do I feel? Not really, no, don't feel really bad about it. It's a game. Okay, let's get them all shifted along. Last one. Train storage depot again. I will see you when we get there. Starting the day with 375,694. Got 59 of these to move in total. So let's. See what difference this all makes to the bank. Hundred and 
21,000 in. Goody goody. We've got another load and a half to go. Let's get them done as well, and we'll be able to see what difference it's all made to the bank account and whether that allows us to start thinking seriously about a bit of a work on the forestry. Load number two. takes us up to 617,000. And leaves us with uh, 11 bales to go. And these are those 11. get them dropped off and see where we're at. It's another 55 takes us to 672 which is virtually 300,000. Okay, so 672 is enough to start seriously thinking about forestry work. Um, we can... Hello train. Uh, we can get the new equipment in. We can get it bought. So we don't need to worry about leasing. It is extremely expensive. I might uh, have to peg back on that whole we'll get it bought thing, but we'll see. Hopefully we can buy everything, including a sawmill and a furniture store. Uh, and if not now, then certainly we will be able to in a few months' time. So for now... Let's get this back and parked up and then I can tell you what's next and that is a substantial amount of mowing, bailing uh, and the like and getting the bales into storage none of which I am going to make you sit through. Uh, however, before we do that, it's just a couple of things I've just remembered because we changed month. First of all, let's give Boyo some food, like so. And the other thing is, let's just double check down here, see how our chicks... Oh, our chicks are chickens! Excellent. So what have we got? Uh, that's not where we need to be, is it? Let's have a look in here. Okay, so our animals are all healthy. Uh, the grain will last another month and they are halfway to the point where they're going to start producing eggs and indeed more chicks for us uh, but for the moment we can forget about them thank you ladies nice to see you growing i will see you again soon back to our mowing job Okay. Took a bit of 
do it. Right, so this is basically just a case of mowing uh, everything that we originally bought mowed. So I will get on with that. I will see you once it's done in a few hours time. Uh, when I will have mowed it all, I will bale it up. I'll get the bales put into storage and then we'll um, I will talk about what we're going to do after that, but I'm sure you don't really want to sit through all this mowing, so as if by magic, here goes. And boom! It's all done. Grass is cut, baled, mowed. No, oh, other way around. Mowed, baled. Um, we've taken, I think, uh, Forty-four to so there's seven. Fifty-one bales. That's less than last time, but then again, it was always going to be because we used a chunk of the field or a chunk of the grass area um, as part of the extension to the wheat field. Uh, plus there's a little area at the top where the wheat field is, which I'll show you in a second. Which I didn't do, which I could have done. Uh, but more than that, I think um, what we should have done, and what I said several times I was going to do and never did, was fertilised it because I don't think the yield was uh, anywhere near as good as it was first time round. So that was just down to rookie error. We will be getting ourselves a fertilizer spreader or sprayer or something. Um, Because, yeah, I think there was a definite decrease in the yield at that time. We've got 51 there, look. 51 barrels. Barrels? <laughs> got into pub mode. 51 bales. Um, which we're going to sort of keep in the bank, if you like. sell next year when the price is higher again uh, if need be I'm not adverse to borrowing against it now I know that it's in the in the bank so to speak right let's do a bit of a tidy up to get the baler back down here and the other tractor. Uh, which I believe is just, yeah, it's just at the top here. So we'll get this parked up. Actually, It need a bit of a spray down first. Still as a sterling job again. Um, 
Okay. Oops. Yeah. Can't drive vehicles with wheels, then my ones with tracks. enough. Park the... Park the tractor up. and tidy again. With our job's done. And our stuff all put away. Okay, this field needs fertilising again. So yeah, fertilising I think is going to need to be a, a thing. So this is now showing us harvested and 50% fertilised. Um, the one we did last month is showing two for three and not fertilised at all. So a lot of fertilisation needed. That is going to be my next job. So I think what we need to do is make our way to the shop. to get ourselves a fertiliser of some sort and indeed something to go in it. Right, let's uh, let's go have a chat. So what we want is a fertilizer spreader. Just depends how big of one we want. Or how much money we want to spend, and we don't really want to spend that much, or that much, but we might spend that much. Well, how much is it if we extend it? 14,000 litres. Done. We'll have that. 14,000 litres, so... We may as well bite the bullet and fill it up. So nineteen hundred and twenty for a thousand. Wow. This is gonna cost a lot to fill. Eighteen hundred and twenty for a thousand. Or nine thousand six hundred for six thousand. Oh, that's liquid. Solid fourteen hundred for seven fib. Right. Okay. So the big bags are the way forward. Um, right, I think just for the moment we just, we get eight. So 
12. We're stuck again. Right, we're out. Okay, let's get her filled up. Wow, it's huge. Park close enough, yes it is. Right, so this will take a little while. I'll get her filled up and we'll get her back to the farm. But just uh, quickly before we leave the shop. We need to have a look at what it is we might be able to do in the world of forestry. Forestry equipment. <coughs> so, what do we need? Okay, so I'm thinking we need a little trailer. Maybe something like that. mistakes and a wall at the front so we're gonna buy that so we're gonna need some sort of machine um, and I think we're gonna have to go Wow, this is a minefield. Look at that bad boy. That's pretty cool. Not what we're looking for at the moment, but... Okay, we're going for it, and we could do with a wheel loader and a grab, 151, see it really is a case of the bigger the better. I think that's going to have to do us what um, a loading grapple. Log fork. See, that looks like it might give us more chance of actually picking stuff up. It's only one ton. What the heck?
Okay. Let's see what we've got. So the question is, what do we do about that? What do we do about the wheel loader? Okay. Easy answer. We go for the 180 grand one. And like I said earlier, we have no loan. Let's borrow 50 grand. Wide tires. Boom. L O G three. Bye. Okay. Right. So it begins the start of our forestry empire. Let's get it all back to the farm. Back down at the farm. Okay, so we've got log trailer. We've got a harvester which I have no idea how to use so it might be a while before I actually uh, can, <laughs> can do any uh, YouTube evidence of it I'll have to practice a bit um, we've got the completely the wrong attachment first time so now we've got this thing which I'm still not convinced is right but hey ho let's just turn that off and then in the meantime obviously we've spent a shed load on Let's turn that off as well. We're wasting fuel here. Spend a shed load on fertiliser, so that's a job that needs doing. Um, I think what we need to do is get the fertilising done. Then we'll uh, come back and have a play. See if we can get it to work at all. Well now we need to uh, find a home for this equipment before we start anything else and I think anything else we do start is for another day so we're going to wrap it up there I'll go and find homes for all this equipment thank you very much for sticking with me thus far Stay safe, and I will see you again very soon.